The Mobius Band, or Mobius Strip, is a simple, mathematically important and wonderfully entertaining two-dimensional object that has only one surface and one edge, and is therefore of great interest in topology. In particular, it's the starting point for creating non-orientable surfaces, those for which the concepts of right and left have no meaning. If a surface is non-orientable, it must contain a Mobius band. And if a surface contains a Mobius band, it must be non-orientable. The Mobius band also falls into the category of mathematical objects known as ruled surfaces. The band is named after the German mathematician, pioneer of topology and theoretical astronomer August Mobius, who discovered it in September 1858, although his compatriot and fellow mathematician Johann Listing independently devised the same object in July of the same year. Making a Mobius band couldn't be easier. Take an A4 or similar sheet of paper, cut a, say, 11 inch by 1 inch rectangle, bring the two long ends together, twist one of the ends through 180 degrees and tape the two ends together. To prove that the band is single sided, take a pen and start drawing a line around the band's circumference. When drawing the line, never take the pen off the paper, just keep on going until you return to the starting point. Once you've finished, look all around the shape at the continuous line on it. The unbroken line proves there's just a single side because you never took the pen off the paper. Hence the joke. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius band? To get to the same side. If you now cut down this line with a pair of scissors, the result is surprising. A single long strip with a full 360 degree twist in it. This new shape is topologically equivalent to a cylinder although it can't be manipulated into an ordinary cylinder because it's embedded differently in space. A closely related strange geometrical object is the Klein bottle, which can be produced by gluing two Mobius bands together along their edges. However, this can't be done in ordinary 3D Euclidean space without creating self-intersections. You'll find a separate video about the Klein bottle on this channel. In 1957, the B.F. Goodrich Company patented a conveyor belt that it went on to produce as the Turnover Conveyor Belt System. Incorporating a half twist, it had the advantage over conventional belts of a longer life because it could expose all of the surface area to wear and tear. Mobius belts are no longer manufactured because untwisted modern belts can be made more durable, by constructing them from several layers of different materials. Other practical applications of Mobius bands have included half-twisted continuous loop recording tapes to double the playing time, typewriter ribbons, and computer printer cartridges. In the 1960s, Sandia Laboratories used Mobius bands in the design of versatile electronic resistors. Also, there have been a number of ideas for children's toys based on the shape, including a railway in which a miniature engine traverses a three-dimensional looped track using magnets to hold on while it travels some of the sections upside down. M.C. Escher famously used the Mobius band as the basis for a number of his lithographs. American physicist and artist Robert Rathburn Wilson was also fascinated by the shape. Mobius Strip is among several of Wilson's sculptures that grace the grounds of the Fermilab in Batavia, Illinois. An eight-foot diameter, three-dimensional version of the loop with a half-twist stands in the middle of a circular pool atop the Norman F. Ramsey Auditorium in front of the Fermilab's largest building, Wilson Hall. In a subway named Mobius, published in 1950, A.J. Dutch imagines a train line that has become so complex and convoluted that one of the trains on it disappears into another dimension. The mathematical connection with the Mobius band is tenuous, 
but the story is nevertheless intriguing and memorable. <laughs>